Hello, welcome to the Weirdo Parade, friends and neighbors. Welcome. Here comes the Weirdo Parade. I am Skix, your host. With me are Ben and Cindy. Will you introduce yourselves? Yeah, my, my name is Ben. And this is Cindy. And we, uh, we do a music and sign language combination called The Deaf and the Musician. Uh, can you describe the act some? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, would you, how would you describe us? Uh, PR. I sign. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, uh, we do something different when it comes to music, where there's a visual aspect and a learning aspect and, and kind of a disability outreach aspect that uh, um, has been really enjoyable when you talk about songwriting and you talk about languages in general, just languages in general, and uh, all the uh, interesting parts of the art form. How long have you been doing this? Uh, we, we've known each other for, gosh, like 20 years, but the, uh, the music and the performance, uh, <laughs> they, they kind of started, I guess, maybe one, two years ago. Um, this, this is kind of a, uh, an early phase of what we've been trying to accomplish. Yeah. And I do want to have you folks in uh, one of my shows at one point. It's just uh, oh, yeah. very hectic. Oh yeah, totally. No, I, uh, I enjoy I enjoy your shows. I enjoy the how different they are compared to other variety acts. Uh, variety acts. Mm -hmm. Can you do that sign for me again? I, I actually, this is me trying to kind of make up a <laughs> word, uh, but this is the sign for different. So mm -hmm. uh, different, and if you do it multiple times. I figure that's a variety <laughs> show. Love it. I'm going to start using it. But I don't know if it's like the real sign. So that's just me being maybe too creative or too weird. Well, I mean, that that's part of the and language too, isn't it? You have, to, you have to make things up. You have to find the way to communicate and it, and it might look, it might just look different from person to person. I took um, some ASL in uh, college in Southern California. Um, so I'm very, very rusty, but I'm told I signed with a California accent. Um, I've, I've heard that too. Uh, there's a California accent. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you, you know more about the, the different accents to sign on with. The different accents. Accents. Yeah. Okay. They're yeah, it's exactly what you hit on. Uh, they're just same as like your English, all over America. It's different. New York English, New York sign, different. Florida English, Florida sign, different. Utah, different. So yeah. Um, I wonder if you would uh, talk a bit about what it's like being deaf in America. Um, are there uh, negatives or positives uh and how that affects your uh performance yeah yeah uh, um it's cindy's, cindy's story is is really interesting uh yeah i've come to learn i'm not deaf but i've come to learn how there's just a lot of different um stories that go behind why the person is deaf how they are affected by it. Um, of course, there's all sorts of frustrations. And I know that Cindy could tell you um, just uh, what's that What's that like living with a deaf disability? Just in general or specific? Like, yeah, do you, do you want something what, 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 general yeah, or wanted... like a specific? Um, well, I, I guess, uh, a theme of these talks has often been how it is living in Utah specifically and how 
our weirdness creates strength in our art. Uh, so, I guess what uh, a good example is what um, Ben uh, observed about me is that since I don't hear the music, I don't really uh, connect with the hearing, with music, you know, culture, music. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a lot of conversations about, um, I guess, certain things that, uh, uh, as a musician and as a, as a sound engineer, um, uh, these are just very iconic sounds. And um, because, uh, because you know, she grew up not hearing them, there's a lot of a conversation that the deaf would miss out on. Because you know why would they? Why you know, they wouldn't care? Uh, but at the same time, if I talk to you about the uh, squeaking sounds in the movie Psycho, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? And that that uh, really iconic um, is is maybe an example of I could share that sound somewhere, but maybe uh, someone with the, the deaf uh, wouldn't get the joke. Or they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't understand how I'm referencing something that was very iconic, um, and that's maybe not the best example, but uh, uh, more and more, you know, uh, the songs that we sing. When I tell her about this song, I hear all the time at the grocery store, at the mall, or whatever. Um, she doesn't have that same story. The uh, songs like uh, Oasis, Wonderwall. Um, you know, we hear that all the time, but I had to kind of explain to her that that was uh, one of the reasons I, I picked the song and why we perform it, but I also want to change it. Um, so I want, I want it to be different um, because I hear that song all the time. Uh, uh, what's another? Wagon Wheel is, and uh, Hallelujah. These are uh, very popular songs that... Um, I think a, a, a hearing, a, a hard of, hard of hearing community or a deaf community, um, uh, I don't want to say like miss out, but they certainly don't connect to uh, the rest of, of the hearing uh, culture. And, uh, and uh, I, that's just an example of the gap that it exists. Mm -hmm. and then. Oh yeah, also like uh, parties or like social gatherings. Um, there's always music, like they have Pandora on or whatever, and they connect that way. So I just sit in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> you you connect you connect to people <clears throat> through what I guess books or maybe movies or is there other ways, different ways in which you connect to people? Uh. Well, it's becoming harder and harder to connect with book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love reading. I love written words. So like captions and books, uh, text. I love written words. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, and I will um, s start figuring out how to do captioning for my videos. I, I, I <laughs> have to admit, I, I haven't done it yet, but but this will spread. There's a way. I'm, I'm happy to show it to you. Um, oh, it yes. Just takes time, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, 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 would, that would be great, um, because short of having someone type fast next to me, I, I, I haven't been able to figure out the best way. Yeah. Uh, what what are some of the the gigs you've had, uh, and what kind of reception have you been having? What kind of gigs have we been doing? Um, um, we we kind of fit in a much more like chill vibe. So there's a lot of breweries that um, I think is a is a good fit. Uh, uh, there's Roja. Um, I think we have one coming up on the twenty 
26, 26. Um, and then just recently at a restaurant called Feldman's Deli, Feldman's Deli, and that's just like a really, really good um, kosher Jewish spread. Um, and uh, just a really, really great venue that actually supports <clears throat> uh, all, all sorts of live music. And, uh, and then I think uh, the one we're most excited for is going to be tomorrow, um, Wednesday night, which is at a Hagland Ranch. Um, and I think it's going to be kind of a backyard, uh, casual get-together um, that's, uh, again, supporting uh, a number of different um, uh, artists and musicians. Uh, have you performed for a deaf audience before? Um, have we performed for like a, a deaf audience? Uh, there's been deaf there, but it's not a deaf audience. Yeah, it's never been, it's never been 100%. No, um, it's a, like I was uh, trying to describe before. Uh, yeah, I'm shiny, but it's still music. Yeah. So it's still hard to have interest. You're deaf. Mm hmm I, uh, I work with the, uh, the Tycho drummers that use these big drums and we've had some deaf folks in the audience who appreciated it because you very feel it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think now would be a good time to do your number if you're ready. Are you, are you ready to, to sing our song? You're gonna yeah. do the song? Well, we were, we were worried about like which song to pick, um, but I guess we decided um, that we would do our weirdest song. Okay. But it's not that weird. It's a uh, it's a uh, a song I wrote um, because I, I I believe there's two different types of people in the world. Uh, there's the uh, Star Wars fans, and then there's the Star Trek fans. So, uh, and I I believe they can get together and work out their differences. And so uh, I am more of a, 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 Star War, a Star Trek fan. So this is my Star Trek song. Okay, that's it. Let's get stand. Do you want to stand? Do you want to stand? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna... You can sit. I'll sit. Just be in the camera, I guess. That's all that's important. This is the star captain's log. The star day is 5103. Everything's smashing, there's no sense of clashing. I've just finished my Earl Grey tea. This is the star captain's log. There's no drama, no treasons, no tricks. We're just sailing the sea of celestial debris. Although my pilot, he's a bit of a prick He didn't report that the mission abort Was because of a bad fusion disc For he speaks with a slur And he smells absurd Cause he drinks like a goddamn fish This is the star captain's log Let me just throw this right into the mix there's rumors of brewing, crew members are stewing about mistreatments made on deck six. Well, someone was fired for being Pluto inspired and their partner couldn't buy them a kick. In the catering line, the food was just fine, but the cook's security clearance was accused of being fake. This is the star captain's log. Star date is 5103. Heads are all clashing, middle class is collapsing. It's almost like 2020. This is the Star Captain's Law. Please don't think it's too much for me to take. 
But there was an invasion, all hell was a raisin. Now I'm stranded south of some lake. Well, we called Cortana, but she was long gone. I believe her goodbyes were brief. When the elites arrived, their lasers all live, and no appearance from the Master Chief. Oh. <sighs> this is the Star Captain's Lock. I don't mean to bitch. I don't mean to pout. But I'm dreaming of days and the friends that I have made at the occasional music night out. Hey. hey. Yeah, yeah, you remember that. <laughs> yeah, um, that's great. And, and, and this has been very big since uh, pandemic times when people are doing a lot of Zoom uh, Zoom yeah. shows, and you, you don't want to unmute the audience because that's a mess. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's one of the first things I try to explain is that uh, instead of applauding, you shake your hands as a, as a show of excitement and a, and a show of, a, of appreciation. And how, how long have you been um, doing this, this particular show? Uh, With this, uh, the the first episode uh, doesn't go live for another two weeks. I'm recording way way ahead. Yeah, yeah. You will be episode ten or eleven, I think. Cool. Um, we'll keep an eye out for it. Then. Yeah, I'll 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 let let you know uh, when it goes live. Are there any other ways that uh, that you might be weirdos? Um, how do you mean? You said are there uh, more ways in which we're weird? Is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> um sure but like just i think just in general in, just in general general in general, in general. <laughs> well, what's your answer <laughs> i have a theory that everyone's a weirdo in in some different ways and usually more than one uh no i think uh well we just got done with this uh, label festival about um mental health stigmas and the labels of that and I feel like weirdo, we being weirdo is in that same category of a label that people put on things that is not necessarily, uh, it was just not accurate because it's, as a weirdo, you know, we're much more complex <laughs> than just simply. Uh, uh, but yeah, you know, I think, I think uh, I'm, uh, I'm very like picky with my ears. So like, I always have to like make sure there's nothing in them. That might make me a weirdo. <laughs> uh, I, I know when, when I was a kid, it did not take much to be labeled a weirdo. No, um, yeah. You know, I, I could have a cowlick one day or be carrying a, an unpopular lunchbox um, mm. or, or my, my clothes match too much for that age. Uh, and I, I've sort of uh, adopted weirdo as, as uh, a badge of pride, uh, in part thanks to um, Gonzo the Great, who was asked, like, what are you? And his best answer is, I'm a weirdo, or I'm an artist. Yeah. And so combining that, that's how I started doing the Gonzo Rising shows. Ah, uh, that's where the name Gonzo Rising came from. Okay. Right. Um, I can't use the character too much, or Disney will shut me down. But Yeah, I hear they do that. They're, they're not, they don't have a sense of humor. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. I know what makes me weird. Yeah. I'm a, I really enjoy uh, the music of Nickelback. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> People tend to think I'm weird because of that. <laughs> I'll do it. All right. Um, what, makes, what makes you weird? Well, that's, well, that's not your disability. That's not that. That's not, that's not weird enough. It needs to be is. more weird. <laughs> Uh, that defines me so much. Uh, well, so if I can't pick death, then the other thing that uh, is who I am is vegan. Oh, so. yeah, that's a weirdo because he's vegan. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and and weirdo is is a bit transitory because if you if you go to a vegan restaurant, you're not a weirdo there, but pretty much everywhere else in Utah, you would be a weirdo. Well, you make a you make a good point that it's all like sort of circumstantial. 
uh, it depends on the, you know, the time and place. And you might be the weirdo then, but in a different group or a different setting. Oh, that's true. Uh, other, we're, yeah. Weirdos unite. So. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're if you're if you're not weird, then you might be weird because you're not weird. <laughs> Can you sign that phrase "weirdos unite" again? I want to. I want to see that. Yeah, do that sign language again for uh, the weirdos unite. Okay, you might have to help me. Weirdos, mm -hmm. and then weirdos. Oh yeah, this that's unite. This is sort of like your your palms up, but then your your thumbs bring it forward, and that's unite. Weirdos. Yeah. Weirdos. Unite. unite. Cool. I'm definitely gonna remember weirdos. That's lovely. Weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. Um, all right, and for our, our parting shot, is there any advice you have for uh, weirdos growing up in our country? Any advice? Uh, I wish I had. I wish I had advice, but it's mostly um, just be you. It's gonna suck. <laughs> but just be you. Yeah, I think there's at the core of, of, of simply being you. Um, I think you need you need to be patient uh, with yourself and patient with other people, and that might include those people that are that are judging you. Um, and uh, and that patience might also mean you should you should ask for help. When you need help, and uh, and you, sh you should help when people ask for your help, and I think uh, that's part of breaking that label of weirdo, because the, the the truth is we're all human, and we're all weird, and uh, we need to be uh, need to. patient with our with connecting with people. So yeah, the the patience is uh, good um, because. You just have the patience, and then uh, as you go along, you will meet yeah. the uh, weirdos, the other weirdos that will accept you, and you accept them. But when you're grown up, when you're a kid, it's gonna suck. So just have yeah, Just be patient. <laughs> I I think that's great advice. Uh, if uh, if I were to go back to a younger me and and try and uh, help them along, that's probably the best advice. Because I grew up in a very small town. There's not a lot I could do about my situation for a while. But I would eventually find the other weirdos. And that is absolutely true. And it right. it's better. just a matter of time. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, well, uh, well we're glad to be a part of this. Yeah. And uh, here comes the Gonzo. Uh, I mess up <laughs> the name of the darn show every time. Here comes the Weirdo Parade. Uh, thank you for uh, for joining us for another episode. Stay tuned next week. God bless you all. God save the king. It's it's the work of the devil. You'll feel better after you drink this. Grog, grog, grog. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Come to. Uh, when we have uh, the ghost of Orrin Hatch. All right. Thank you. Ghost of Orrin Hatch. <laughs> uh, we do a seance. Uh, no, I, that that's that was a joke, but um, <laughs> we, we uh, we've uh, I, I do a seance act, and it might be fun to try that one day. Yeah, well, I'll see how, we'll see how it lands. I don't know. I feel like it's too soon, yeah. man. Too soon. <laughs>